Yes guys, welcome back to the channel. Back again, back with another GoPro video. This time it's a little bit different. This time it's all about editing a GoPro photo. So guys, for this video, I'm gonna be editing with Photoshop, but if you use Lightroom, everything is literally the same and I'm gonna show you step by step what you need to do. There are a couple of important things that you need to do in Photoshop or Lightroom when you edit a GoPro picture and it kind of stops that lens distortion. Um, guys, so we're going to go into it right now, but please like this video, please share, please subscribe. If you're into GoPros, watch another video. If you're into iPhones, if you're into gadgets, if you're into photography, check out some videos. All right, let's go into Photoshop now. Let's do this. So, yes, guys, here I am in Photoshop. I've just dragged the photo into Photoshop. Um, and because it's a raw file, it's gone to uh, Adobe Camera Raw. So this is what it looks like coming into Adobe Camera Raw. If you use Lightroom, like I said before, this is exactly the same. So all the tabs here, I have here, you have in Lightroom. Um, all right, so first thing I'm gonna do, and probably the most important thing that you need to do when editing a GoPro picture is go to optics, and we're gonna collect, uh, correct the lens, sorry. So use profile corrections, you click that there. What you've then got to look for is the make of the GoPro, so we've got GoPro there, and it's just made it look weird. So that lens distortion is horrible. What you then need to do though is find your model. There is no GoPro Hero 11, but 10 works just as well. So you click that and you've got more of the kind of shot that it, what it looks like in camera. So I'll repeat that again. So you use profile corrections, you find the make, which is a GoPro, you find your model, uh, which is Hero 10. We don't have Hero 11 here, but it works just as fine. And it kind of give you the, well, it gives you the same view that you had on your um, GoPro itself, on the GoPro screen. So that's literally the first thing I do. I then go to my geometry and I literally click A for automatic. And what that does, it will line it up if it needs straightening. Um, sometimes it works really well. That's before. Um, and that's after. So I quite like that. I'm not going to, maybe I'm going to adjust it just a little bit there. So 0 0.3, 0 0.4, and that's mm, maybe not. Let's go back to automatic. Uh, you know, for now I'll leave it. I might change it later. So that's the first things, the first two things that I do. Um, I would recommend you guys do that first of all as well. So guys, up next, this is where the magic happens. So I'm gonna leave my white balance for now. I'm gonna just take that uh, exposure up just a little bit, um, get a bit more detail. For now, I'm gonna leave my contrast. I'm gonna take my highlights down um, and that's really, really showing up these tree branches there, or the leaves I should say there. It's really cool, shadows. Take them up a bit. In fact, I'm gonna put my exposure down just a little bit. Uh, whites, I, with whites, I always experiment with this. So I try it down, up. Um, generally, I, I'm not too, I don't worry too much about the whites. I always take my blacks down. And then I'm gonna take my contrast up just a touch. So that's my starting point. Texture, um, this is always trial and error. I generally leave them, leave the texture, clarity and the haze um, as they are, but I always just experiment with them just to see if it brings up any extra details. So texture, I'm gonna take up a tiny bit actually. I'm gonna go up plus nine. Clarity, uh, way too much. Sometimes I like reducing the clarity because it gives it that kind of misty look. So I'm going to take my clarity down a little bit there. Um, in fact, I'm going to put my texture down as well. Um, and the haze is always trial and error. Generally, I leave it as it is. What I do like about this, though, is giving it that kind of misty look around here. Um, but for now, I'll leave that where it is. Vibrance and saturation, I'm going to leave for now. Uh, curves always start off giving it a type of S curve. Start up there. Put that down there. And then detail. So guys, I'm in detail now. Um, I'm gonna sharpen it up. 
I generally go to about 100 unless the pitch is really noisy. Um, yep, yeah, and I'm going to leave that there. Colour mixer, this is where a lot more magic happens as well. But before I do that, I'm going to go back up to my white balance. Um, I'm going to make it a little bit cooler. Yeah, I love that. Um, I'm going to leave the tint where it is. That's a bit too blue for me. Yeah, we'll leave our white balance like that. And then my whites will come down a bit. All right, let's go back down to our color mixer. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is just test out these blues. You know, I'm gonna saturate it a bit more. So that's my saturations at 27. I'm gonna go to the hue. Like I literally change it to like a turquoise green, which I don't want, but I'm gonna take that down to minus 12. Um, I'm also gonna look at the oranges and yellows. So my saturation on oranges is affecting this part here where the lights are. So I'm gonna put that up a touch. Check out the hue in it. Looks really cool. Um, also, another thing to look at is the luminance. Let's brighten that up a little bit. And it's just added a whole different color dimension to it. Um, looking at the the photo now, I'm really still not happy with the, um, the angle of it. So I'm going to just go back to the geometry and I'm going to just play with it a little bit more. Yeah, for me, that's better. I'm probably going to crop it here anyway, so I'll have a better look at it. So that's how I basically do my basic edit on um, with my GoPro shot. So it's completely changed it. So we've gone from, you can see the two differences there. The before, the after. Um, the before is not showing that, that kind of bowl effect we had. Let me show you guys what we had. There we had it before. I'm going to show you what it was like before we changed the lens. So can you see that bowl effect, that distortion is horrible. And that's with it. All right, so next thing as I do is I go to open and I open it as an object and it's going to take me into the main page of Photoshop. The next thing I'm going to do is I am going to crop this photo um, just because I'm most likely going to post it on Instagram. So I've got that four by five crop. Uh, I'm going to literally just center it. So I'm going to try and adjust the, yeah, that right there looks good to me. Um, yeah, so I'm going to crop that and there we have it. So up next is a few things that I like to use in Photoshop. Um, I, you may have the equivalent, equivalent to these in Lightroom. Um, I'm not sure, but yeah, I'll show you what I'm going to do next. The first thing is color balance. Uh, and I'm going to change my change it to shadows. Literally, I experiment with the shadows. I'm going to leave the cyan's where it is. So I'll put that back to zero. Um, I re hardly touch the magentas and greens. Um, yellows and blues. Yep. Those blue shadows look really nice. Cool. I'm gonna leave that there. Next thing I do is go to my highlights. Same thing again, I'm gonna experiment, look at the CNs. Nah, I don't like that. Uh, the reds look really nice there. I love that. Um, and then I'm gonna go down to my yellows and blues and then I'll check it out. Now I'm probably gonna just take the kit down a little there. And that's generally how I edit my photos um, or my GoPro photos. Um, so what I'll do on screen now, I'll show you the before and I'll show you the after. So I'm gonna quickly show you a quick tip that I do that if you use Photoshop, just to give your pictures that extra sharpen. So what I do is I am gonna merge the layers together. Not like that. I'm gonna merge the layers together. See on the right hand side here, um, it's become one layer. I go to filter and I go to other high pass comes out grey and then see this radius here I generally put it to two two pixels okay and then soft light 
and what this does it just gives it that extra sharpen so uh, I'll zoom in a bit so that's without the sharpening so that's with the sharpening and this is without so you can see the extra details I know a lot of people will like put planes and stuff in pictures there that would be quite cool if I put a plane up there um, but for now I'm gonna leave that so guys please like this video if you like it please subscribe to the channel check out another video if you can and I will see you guys on the next video all right leave some comments share subscribe like I said before all right peace